Hi guys, this is Esther Park. In this video, I want to show you how to use Microsoft PowerPoint's live captioning and subtitle translation tool to help support your English language learners. Right now, I am in Microsoft Lectures and Presentation page. First of all, what this tool is, is that um, it's a tool that transcribes whatever I say and provides real-time captions, um, also translations in the student's preferred language, either in their device, in the student's device, or in your screen. Right now, I am showing you an example on the screen on the bottom, a black bar. Um, I am using PowerPoint translation feature and um, it's transcribing and translating real time what I say into my preferred language, which is Spanish. If your students have an extra device during your remote lesson, like for example, their phones, they can actually follow along what you are saying using their phones, using their extra device. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So right now I have my PowerPoint open and you're going to click slideshow, slideshow, and then click start subtitles. And for this demo, I am going to be speaking in English. And I'm just going to display the subtitles in English for now. Click Next. Once you do that, you're going to see a page that looks like this and a QR code will appear on your screen. Now you're going to ask your students to either scan the code with their phones or use the unique URL, www.translated.it slash and then the URL. I usually ask my students to use their phones during my remote sessions, but they can load it in their web browser as well. I'm going to show you the student's view on the left of the screen. So using their phones, they will either scan the QR code from your screen or type the URL address. Once they do that, it will prompt them to write their names and choose their preferred language. After that, what you say will be automatically transcribed and translated directly to their phones. So right now I am speaking um, and as you can see on my phone, this is from a student's view, um, they are able to read in their home language, which is Spanish for here. Um, they are able to read and understand what I am speaking, what I am saying um, in their home language, which is a really cool, cool tool, a game changer tool for our English language learners. If you are a Google person like me, and if you use Google Slides instead of PowerPoint, there's no problem. All you need to do is to simply share this QR code after opening your PowerPoint, and then you can tell your students to um, keep their phones next to them and read through the translations as you present for home language support. Another option for your students is to download the Microsoft Translator app on their device and click the conversation icon to the right and ask them to enter the presentation code from your screen or scan the QR code and select their preferred language. Once they enter the code, what the presenters say will be translated and sent directly to their device. 
Another way that I use this PowerPoint translation tool is to app smash it with another Google presentation tool or with a screen recording tool. This is particularly useful when you have a homogeneous home language group in your class. Now I am in PowerPoint. I'm going to click subtitles again. And I want to display the subtitles in Spanish because that's most of my students' home language. Click Next. So when the subtitles are on, you can see on the bottom, this is a translation bar. Now, when I click Exit and Exit out of my translation, notice that PowerPoint gives you a separate tab, a separate bar with the translation, with the subtitles. Now, I only want to use this. I don't want to use the PowerPoint because I rarely use PowerPoint anymore. I want to use this to um, give my students some home language support. And I want to use Google Slides as my presentation. So what you would do is you would pull out your browser and adjust it so that it fits like this. So you can adjust your screen. So I have my Chrome browser on the top and I have adjusted my PowerPoint translation bar on the bottom. So when, whenever you're presenting or if you're screen recording your lessons, um, the home language support appears on the bottom so that they have access to translations in their um, home language. I hope this Translator Live feature will help support your English language learners and create a more inclusive remote learning environment. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave me a comment below or direct message me on Twitter. Thanks for watching.